स्वभावचिन्मयानंदम कृपापूर्ण जगत्पति हरिषडर्गजे तारम निनंदुरुंबजे स्वभावचिन्मयानंद when vividly aware through some particular sense keep in the awareness first sutra understand he says you are inside your body constantly you are seeing touching hearing smelling tasting through the body he says just be intensely aware when you do that activities it doesn't seem to be very difficult but very difficult because you are not again and again back to the awareness that you are seeing through the eyes you are seeing through the you are smelling through the nose you are hearing through the ears understand seeing is different having the awareness that you are seeing is different when you get up from the bed from that moment you start seeing but having the awareness i am seeing through the eyes does not exist stays with you forever for whole day you miss that a small story one painter gets up appointed by the highways department the instruction was he is supposed to paint 2 miles per day on the road the center center line he has to paint the center line in the highway road 2 miles per day first day this guy paints 4 miles officer was very happy oh nice second day he paints only 2 miles officer says okay this is what we expected even this is okay third day this guy paints only 1 mile officer was puzzled he asked what happened to you why only 1 mile the guy says no i have become further and further away from my bucket <laughs> i have gone further and further away from my paint bucket <laughs> understand you also go further and further away from your awareness from your paint bucket you forget to carry the paint bucket along with you you come back go back you come back and go back and you forget your paint bucket can be carried with you when you are living your whole day you forget you can come back to this moment and refresh yourself you can relax from the whole day's load on you the dust which is forcibly put on you during the whole day activity you forget you can relax from it you don't have to come back come you don't have to go further and further away from the bucket every day you can take your bucket along with you remembering that you can take your bucket along with you is what i call meditating and cleaning yourself getting back to the center again getting back to the fresh new space again so that you can start the life whoever misses that clarity of getting back to the center only they carry the load and enter into depression blessed are those who can update themselves every day updating yourself is what i call meditation just sitting and deciding to unload and bringing the bucket closer to you so that you don't have to <laughs> run and run and run understand we are also doing the same bucket drama before deciding even one simple decision you run to the whole bucket before painting one strip he runs to the bucket which is there in the other corner 
same way before taking one decision about one person you see the whole file about him for last 10 years and you do not understand the bucket can be brought near that person has transformed there is every possibility you can think in a new way decisions can be done in a new way things can be looked in a very different way you forget bucket is there every time you are running 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 see inside you before taking decisions how many times you are running to the bucket sometime by the time you go to the bucket and dip your brush and come back the brush is dried <laughs> and you again <laughs> run without even touching the ground and you again run that is what i call rajas restlessness before even making one decision you are altered changed disturbed that decision 20 times i can tell you the indian villages the farmers i have seen people around the world not superficially very closely because they come and open up their problems to me their desires or their fears they come and open up all those things to me and i have seen so many different mental setup inner space i tell you if at all i have been given a chance by god which mental setup you want i'll really choose only the indian villages mental setup such a strong spontaneity i have not seen such a strong spontaneity the a villager village farmer who is carrying who is working physically doing agriculture in indian villages they carry such a strong spontaneity and the energy to balance their body and recoup come back to the reality they carry such a straight simple mental setup sometime i wonder without that surely their life would have been hell but somehow that's what whenever god puts the people in some situation he prepares them also when he ordains he sustains when he puts the people in that kind of situation he naturally balances them by giving something else otherwise i cannot imagine in that conditions people surviving not just surviving living with such a deep fulfillment with such a deep ecstasy and joy such a spontaneity all they know is some faith or surrender devotion to some local village deity or family deity in many families they will have one family deity they always believe that kula devata family deity takes care with that one trust they are able to carry their bucket every day with them they don't come back every time to the bucket with the brush in the hand the decision making is so spontaneous the restlessness is very less very little so life is more joyful juicy lived intensely and ecstatically the whole essence of this sutra carry your bucket in your hand <laughs> do not leave it <laughs> where you start the painting have a small break then we will enter into the other sutra also both sutras form two part of the same meditation technique in the first part you became aware of voluntary actions actions in the second part you are expected to become aware of the involuntary like a sneezing hunger things which is beyond your logical control so we will come back and explore the other sutra also then enter into the meditation technique let's gather for next session thank you